sheep, sheep, sheep. You're all sheep. At some point or another, we can all be sheep, following that person, that group, even that opinion. Everywhere I look, I see the same shoes. I see the same socks. I even hear the same opinions. Who are we following? It's like we're following a leader, all moving in the same direction, just like sheep. But who gives this leader the right to be a leader? There's no such thing as a natural born leader. Nobody just comes out the room giving orders like, on Wednesdays, we wear pink. No, this isn't mean girls. We are led to believe that we should look a certain way. I have, like many others, spent hours on end staring at myself in the mirror, looking, judging, critiquing at what I thought were my flaws. I have scars. I have one right here. And I would love to tell you, I got it when I was jumping from a burning building, saving my mother. But no, when I was five, I slipped and hit my head on the radiator. Society wants us to be this perfect A4 sheet of plain paper. No marks, it's easy to change, and it's just like the other seven billion sheets. However, I see myself as a uniquely crumpled A3 sheet of paper. It shouldn't matter if your sheet is A1 or A12, coloured or plain. I'm okay with my sheet because I know there are people who like the crumples. They like me for who I am. There's no point in wishing our scars, cuts or grazes would vanish because they have stories behind them and make us who we are. They will not change. Change should come from here. We shouldn't let the Justin Biebers, the Miley's or the Rihanna's be the ones we imitate as if they're our leaders. Should we not be more like the inventors, the Nobel Prize winners, the humble charity workers? I'd like to tell you a story on the legend of the eagle. This bird has one of the longest lifespans. It reaches a point in its life where its feathers are too heavy, its beak is bent and its talons are no longer sharp. It has a choice to make. It can either fix itself or carry on living in its weak state and eventually die. The eagle decides to fly to the highest point it knows. It sheds all of its old feathers. It will bang its beak against rocks and it will grow new talons. This process of change is called rebirth and allows the eagle to live on for another 30 years. In life, we will always be faced with many choices. Rather than being just another follower, we should be leaders and lead by our example. The world will be changed by our examples, not by our opinions. So ladies and gentlemen, let's be less like the sheep and more like the eagle.